everybody, this is Jared Cooper from Symphonica Preservation, and uh, I'm here to give you some updated methods of how to get the game onto your device to play. So to do this, you need a 32-bit iOS device, and those devices would be these iPods, these iPhones, and these iPads. Now, this may not necessarily be a fully comprehensive list, but these are the ones that were listed on the page that I got. So you just have to maybe look up if your device has a 32-bit processor. And a good way to know is if it can run iOS 10, as that's the last iOS that works with 32-bit processors. And it's actually needed in order to play Symphonica. Especially since there was reported bugs with iOS 9 at one point, and I don't know if they were fixed. So best case scenario, just use iOS 10 to play the game. So there are three-ish methods on how to get the game. Each one pertains to different people. And uh, I'm going to go over them now. So uh, first method applies to people who have downloaded the game at some point, any point in their life, on their device when it was on the store. Now, this is the easiest one and the one that you probably are going to be very most happy about for the longtime fans. So you go here, you open up your phone, App Store, so you click on, so you click on Updates, tap on Purchased, scroll to the top, you'll see a search bar. Now you do, let's see if I can do this while looking at my iPad screen. Ah, no, okay, let's do it this way. Symphonica, you search it up, and there it is, Symphonica, right here. You can even click on the icon, and you can, it may take a lot of load, but you could eventually see, like, all the images, the update history, descriptions, reviews, you could see all of it. You can. It just may take a while to load. Part of it might be because my phone is very low on battery right now. These old phones, and these ones that were used a lot, they drain very, very fast. But uh, here's the, but the main point is, like, you can come here. You don't have to open the page to do this, but basically you can just see here. Mine says open. That's because the game is on my phone right now. If it's not on your phone, you have the iCloud download button. You just tap that, wait a bit, the game will download. Pretty self-explanatory. It's very simple. And bam, it's there. It's there for you to play. Now... When you do it, you'll notice that you'll have no data, like you won't have your story progress if you had any, and all your purchases will be gone. All you have to do is navigate to the purchase menu, and I'll show it right here. And you just go here and tap on restore purchases, and this will restore all the in-app purchases you ever made. Pretty great, you know? Main problem with this method. One, this only applies to people who bought the game at some point, or downloaded because it was free. So this won't help anybody who is new to Symphonica and just found it through this channel. Problem number two, it uh, does not help you if you did not buy any in-app purchases when the game was out. Because restored purchases only restores what you bought. So if you only bought some of the in-app purchases, you will only get those ones. And if you bought none of them, you will get none of them. This means that your story progress could be limited if you only bought some of the episodes, or just limited to the free stuff if you bought none of them. This also means that any extra DLC music charts that you did not buy will not be unlocked. Regarding which iOS device to use, here's the thing that I've heard. So, iOS files, at least for the iPhone, are called .ipa. And these file types, from what I've heard, can work both on iPhones and iPads. So if you bought the game on your iPhone at one point and you have a 32-bit iPad, in theory, the game will transfer to that through the App Store. However, iPad files are different and will not work on iPhones. So if you bought the game on the iPad, then you most likely will need to get an iPad to play it. That's why it's very important to, for you to figure out which device you need. So now, next question is, if you never bought the game, or you did, but you didn't get a whole lot of in-app purchases, what can you do? Well, here is method number two. So method number two is basically taking the file that I've uploaded to the Internet Archive and uploading it to your phone. Problem with this method... Uh, I can't confirm if it works or not, because I've had so many troubles with it. Like, I follow all the steps for how to do this to other people, like, like, I've seen videos, like, oh, like, you use this program, but, like, it was when it was, like, Xcode, Xcode, like, 7. You either need a Mac or a virtual machine to make it work. Uh, I tried doing it with a virtual machine, and I just couldn't get it to work. I tried so many times, it, it's just, it's so hard for me to figure out. It's a, it's a big gamble. You would have to try and figure out how to do it for yourself. Because I've tried several times and I just can't get it to work. And, you know, it, it, it sucks. I, it's, a very, it's an iffy method. But, like, supposedly you can sign the file with AppSigner to your account. 
because I removed my signing from the app file, and you can then add it to your phone. The thing I don't know about that is like if you had the free thing, it's only gonna last me like seven days. I don't know if you had to so you had to re-sign it, but I don't know if that'll delete your data or not. You can get it for a year, but you'd have to buy like a developer account, and that's a hundred dollars a year, and I don't think you want to do that. So you had to try doing it through the free version. But I, as far as I'm aware, that may not work with newer versions of Xcode. So it, it's it's something that I'm very unknowledgeable about. I tried my best. I did the most research I could, and this is what I got. Links for how to actually download the game for Method 2 are in the description down below. Best of luck to you, I've tried. Now here's one request I'd like to make. When I dumped the game, uh, I expected more files to become available to me, but uh, surprisingly, there weren't. Not a whole lot of images or even audio files. So if possible, if you know how to, either using the .ipa or the .zip file that I also put in the archive, like if you could use that to maybe find things like background art, character sprites, and what have you, that would be great. Let me know and I'll add it to the archive. That would be really, really cool. I, as well as others, have actually asked for this, so that would be really awesome. Also, random thing, most likely impossible, but uh, if you've watched the credit sequence for the game, you'll notice that when I was tapping, like, the Bravo would show up in the, in the corner, that's because I was tapping to the beat of the music. But it wasn't always working because I didn't know the beat exactly. I think what this means is that there is actually a hidden chart behind the credits scene, you just can't see it. So if by some miracle you know how to actually make it visible, so you know how to play it, that'd be really cool. Let me know. I would be down for that. Someone in the comments from the last video said that they had like their file, like they used like the system that I did in my first video, and like they could transfer the game fine. Here's the thing, um, because it's the same method, willing to bet, like 99% sure, it has the exact same problem as my old method. The game transfer only worked for him because the app was signed to his account. He couldn't test it because he doesn't have an iPhone anymore, and I couldn't test it because I couldn't re-jailbreak my old phone that I did this testing with. Oops. So uh, you can test that and see if his method works. I'm willing to bet it doesn't, but hey, it doesn't hurt to try. So uh, that's kind of a bummer method. What's no is there another one? And yes, there is. Method number three. This method is guaranteed to work. But it is a bit more roundabout and complicated-ish. I'll explain. Basically, here's a method that works. I log into a device with my account that was used to buy Symphonica. I re-download Symphonica through the App Store. I then go in and hit Restore Purchases. Once everything's restored, I log back out. And the game is now on there regardless of what account is on there. This will work because I've tested it using an account that was not used to buy the game. So in other words, if you send me your iOS device, I can put the game on there for you and then send it back to you. Now, the way that I do this is like basically I'd open up a PO box. You could then ship it to me, and then I would put the game on there and ship it back. Uh, the things with this is that like PO boxes are kind of expensive, so I would only really open it up when like you send me an email. And there'll be an email in the description basically called wolf.query at gmail.com. Basically, you just send emails like, hey, I would like Symphonica. It's like, okay, someone's actually interested. I will now open up a P.O. box because I don't want to open it up and just, like, not have anyone send anything in because like, it's expensive. Don't want to just have it open for no reason. So once I know that someone wants it, I will open up P.O. box. I will say, okay, here is the P.O. box address. You will then ship it to me. I will go get the box, log in, put the game on there, and then send it back. For courtesy, I would really like if you could then reimburse me for my shipping costs, because uh, I'm already kind of losing money on this. It wouldn't hurt to just maybe lessen the loss a little bit. Now, as I said before, iPhone apps, in theory, should work on iPads. And since I bought on the iPhone, if you send me an iPad, I can, in theory, put it on an iPad. But I don't know for sure. So if you want to be the guinea pig to test that, you can send me an iPad, and then if it doesn't work, I will send it back to you free of charge. Like, I'm not going to make you pay a shipping cost for something that didn't end up working so you know there's that um but if it does work that'd be sick and i might go buy myself an ipad just so i can play the game on my ipad that would be very cool and but here's the cool thing it's like if you have bought the game then like you have the full capability of doing this too so if you know a friend who wants the game you don't have to go through me to do this you can do the exact same thing i just described to for them you log in you download it, and then you restore purchases and log back out. And bam, you just gave your friend Symphonica to play. It's perfect. It's awesome. But again, it has to be a 32-bit iOS device running iOS 10. Um, other thing you want to keep in mind is that 
This game does not connect well with iCloud because it's off the server. So after downloading it, basically you have to go into your settings. You click on your name at the top of the screen. It'd be like here, like your username. Then you go scroll down, you hit the iCloud option, and then you will see apps on the phone. And like you can basically turn off or on iCloud. Symphonica is turned off here. That's because if it's on, Symphonica will just be a white screen when you open it. Now here's the thing, when you first download it, it will not be in the menu. From what I've seen, you have to open it once and then have it fail. Basically, you'll see this a white screen, so you just gotta close out the app, go back here, flick this off, and then go back and it should open. If for whatever reason Symphonica is not showing up down here, you just need to turn off iCloud completely. I believe that covers everything. Method one, download yourself if you bought it yourself. Method two, if you can get it on your phone, you can test to see if it works. Method three, you send it to me, I put it on there, I send it back to you. Uh, other than that, I don't think there's anything else. If there needs to be clarifications, let me know and I'll make a pinned comment down below. There'll, all the updates will be there in the co pinned comment. So keep your eye on that. I will try to keep this up to date as much as possible for future edits, problems, things like maybe like, oh hey, I can confirm the iPads work. Anything that I deem is important, will be in that pinned comment there. So always check there first before asking a question. All right, that's all I got. I'll be seeing another video in a, probably like a day or two, uh, is I got some plans for Symphonica's 10th anniversary. But for now, I hope you enjoy playing Symphonica again for presumably the first time in years, or if you're a first timer, I hope you get to enjoy Symphonica for the very first time. All right, later.